Hello everyone at Guastavinos. Look who I'm with, Joy Behar. Great to see you. It's nice to see you, Bear. It's been so long, so 80 years. Not you and me, <laughs> <laughs> not you and me. Queens College. Is 80 years old? Yeah, 80 years old. Oh. What do you think of that, huh? When I went there, it was the best school in- the CUNY? CUNY, right. Uh -huh. I thought they have trees in Queens College, there's grass. Hunter doesn't have that, so that's why I went there. Since opening its doors in 1937, Queens College and its trees have grown exponentially and is consistently ranked among the leading institutions in the nation for the quality of its faculty, academic programs, and student achievement. According to the U.S. Department of State, Queens College is one of the highest producers of Fulbright scholars in the country, took first and second place in a statewide technology coding competition, and is highly ranked in NCAA Division II women's basketball. Queens College is also recognized as one of the most affordable public colleges in the country for people of all backgrounds and financial means. More and more students are earning their degrees in four years, and for a lucky few, there are four-year tuition-free scholarships. As times have changed, so has the school. Since 2009, students have had the option of living in a residence hall on campus called The Summit. And in 2014, a shuttle bus service was added, taking students, faculty, and staff to and from campus. We didn't have a shuttle. Congrats on the shuttle. To the students, too. Congrats. We, don't, we didn't have... Ooh, we had to walk two blocks. I want to thank Queens College because it's the first place I ever took a creative writing class. It was a great class that exposed me to, to that type of creativity and drama. I took a drama class, too. And here I am. Here I am now. Looking like this, but my wife has a lot of my money. So thank you very much. In retrospect, I think that the things that I did at Queens College brought me to this point. I was a stand-up comedian in that speech class, and here I am doing the same thing. I admire Kennedy because he got us out of that Cuban Missile Crisis, which yeah. I was in college when that happened, mm -hmm. Danny, and um, I said to my friends, we're gonna die. They, were, they had nuclear missiles oh. headed toward Queen's College, where I was, exactly that where I was. That scary, yeah. <laughs> and well, I said, I don't want to die a virgin, because I was scary. at that time. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> yes. Have you been back to Queen's College, Lacey? You did a show there? I did a couple of shows in the, um, in the theater there. So you've seen, yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. You know, well, yeah, one of my memories there is that I used to sing songs with Paul Simon on the Clapper Library steps. Oh my goodness. Hello. Wow. And Paul Simon, you know, it's so funny, because he was with, with um, A.E. Pi Fraternity, and every year they would do the Follies, and they do. They were hilarious guys. They were very funny. And yes. then they'd say at the end, um, and now a song from Paul Simon, one of our members. And we'd be like, oh, not him again. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And we would sing with him on the, on the steps of the Clapper Library. And then a year later, he was like the major star. From Paul Simon to prominent alumni in every field, Queens College is the cornerstone of success. Building futures, one graduate at a time. Congratulations, Queens College. 80, wow. Happy 80th anniversary to Queens College, and don't forget to take a little time to enjoy the view.